So the graph of y equals x squared is, as you know, called a parabola. Okay, and basically what I'm going to do now is just give you some language that goes along with that. The lowest point is called the vertex. Okay, it could also be the highest point if the parabola is facing the other direction. And there is also what's called the axis of symmetry, which is basically an invisible line that goes down the center of the graph. So if you folded it over, it would actually be symmetric about that line. Okay? Um, depending on your teacher or, what, or whatnot, you're going to have to do various levels of precision. Okay? Some teachers just want to see a vertex and the general shape. Other teachers want to see specific points, sometimes three, sometimes five. So what you need to do is find a point here and a point here. The cool thing about the axis of symmetry is that if you find a point on the right side of your graph, you can always just transpose it over to the other side. If you're out two units and up, say, two units, you know that then you're out two and up two. If you're out three and up five, you also know that you're out three and up five on the other side. So using the axis of symmetry can be really helpful in taking some shortcuts in finding points in order to plot your graph. But basically, the main vocabulary that we're going to talk about right now is your vertex and your axis of symmetry.